Morning, church. We are in 1 John chapter 8. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. So the Father sent the Son into the world, and when he did that, then Jesus died on the cross for our sins and rose from the dead and now we can live in him when his spirit comes and lives in us we trust that by faith that jesus died for us and now his spirit comes and lives within us and so we can live through him this is love not that we love god but that he loved us it it doesn't take a lot to love god He's perfect. What takes a lot is to love someone awful like me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. As Christians, we recognize, we should recognize that we are wretched. That we have all these flaws. And he sees past that and loves us. Why? Because he is love. He's the outpouring, the, he's the epitome of love. He is love. It's what he's made of. So, it's not amazing that we loved him, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Jesus didn't do anything wrong. We did. And he came to pay our sin debt. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we ought to love one another. That's how it started out. Dear friends, let us love one another. Why in the world should I love someone else? Why should I love my brother? Because first, God loved me. The wretch that I am, he loved me past my stupidity. He loved me past the walls I threw up. He loved me past the things that I've done. And now he's calling us to return that. That not return it to him. Of course, we do love him. But we're supposed to love one another. We're supposed to love your brother. You're supposed to love others. As you yourself want to be loved. All God's people said, Amen.